Greetings from the National Weather Service Chicago office. It is mid-afternoon on Tuesday, September 9th. We appreciate you joining us for this multimedia weather briefing. What we will delve into here is a look at the system, bringing heavy rainfall and severe weather potential to the region later tonight into Wednesday. In terms of impacts with this weather system, first and foremost is heavy rainfall. That could lead to flash flooding in some locations. Again, this system does bring a severe weather threat, namely the threat of damaging winds. Although with such an anomalous system, one cannot rule out the possibility of a tornado or two. We'll look into more specific timing on the upcoming slides. Again, a very deep system here, so that brings the potential for just gusty winds, even outside of thunderstorms. If the sun can come out on Wednesday and mix or sort of churn up the atmosphere, we'll likely have gusts approach 40 miles per hour. For areas over Lake Michigan, this will be the first gale event of the season, including for nearshore areas of Illinois and Indiana. Looking at the severe weather threat areas, they are highlighted in yellow in both graphics. For tonight, and again, this is more so for after midnight for our area, the severe weather threat is highest in north central uh, Illinois, but does include uh, much of the entire area. As for Wednesday, from daybreak on, the threat is highlighted in yellow. Uh, the highest threat, and really this is looking at redevelopment Wednesday afternoon, is in parts of eastern Illinois into northern Indiana. So while we could have some uh, thunderstorms pop up this evening, as shown in this graphic here, which is basically the chance of storms, the highest threat time is after midnight. And that's what we look at here, midnight to 3 a.m. period. We likely will have thunderstorms uh, approaching or into the area, especially north central Illinois during that time. And then we expect an organized area, and it will be a large area of uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms. Again, a few of the storms possibly being severe uh, moving east across the area. While the main initial line of storms may move east through the area already by mid-morning, regenerating redevelopment of storms is probable across the area throughout the entire morning. And again, that brings the particularly heavy rainfall threat, but a severe weather threat will exist in the morning. Uh, it does not matter that there is not a great deal of instability. There will be such strong dynamics, as we say, with the system, and so strong a winds aloft that it will bring a severe weather threat, even at the odd time of day. As for the afternoon, there is some uncertainty in this time period. With all the cloud cover, it may not lead to as much uh, destabilization or recharging of the atmosphere. And so the severe weather threat is namely in southeast areas, uh, so that's mainly eastern Illinois and northwest Indiana, shown as the red area. There is the chance for storms, uh, and that includes at least a small possibility of a few severe storms a little further west uh, from that. With all the heavy rainfall, flash flood watch is in effect in the green shaded area as shown. The rainfall expected across the area, one to two inches in general. Some isolated higher amounts are certainly possible, most favored in north central Illinois, including the Rockford area. This is a problem because we have been wet really a good part of the summer, uh, and that includes especially in recent weeks here. So despite us leaving the summertime, we have been wet. Uh, soil saturation is high, which is shown in this graphic, so that brings a flash flood threat. We'll finish up here showing some safety. Uh, for severe weather and for heavy rainfall, in particular flash flooding. Again, forecast information could change at a later time, so be sure to check back to our website, weather.gov slash Chicago, as well as the mobile complement, mobile.weather.gov, and our social media outlets on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for the latest forecast information.